What button? I pressed the button. We're oh. Going, we're, we're doing the thing now. It's <laughs> And this is official. Not like all the other ones where I press stop and we start over and all that sound check stuff and balancing. This is the real deal. Whew. I have to be super serious. <laughs> we're both a hot mess this morning. Uh, it's funny because last night we, we had some drinks. Nothing crazy. And I told her, you know, don't get drunk. We don't want to be hung over tomorrow. We want to be all peppy and fresh and ready to go for the Beyonce. And we did that and we're still just a hot mess. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, it's been great. Yeah. We're, I mean, we're behind schedule, but it doesn't matter. I mean, we got plenty of time for what else is going on today. But yeah, the curls are trying to happen, but these. Yeah, I yeah. think the curls are good. I like them. Yeah, but today they were it's, like, no, it's, a, it's Saturday. We want to stay in bed. And yeah, then it is a bit of a mess in the back. There. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. That's OK. That's OK. Well, are you excited? Yeah, I'm ex- I'm excited, even though I'm also tired. But um, so there's two things I want to mention before we get rolling into it is one. I'm going to make it sound like I'm throwing you under the bus, but I'm not. Because you said something that I've seen a lot of Beyonce fans say as well. Mm -hmm. And that is, I don't like country. Oh, yeah. So I think it's important to to start with that because when this album came out, I remember kind of just peeking around a little bit online here and there. Mm -hmm. And seeing people go, oh, you know, oh, I love Beyonce, but why has it got to be that thing? And, And the reason why I want to start with that is so that right now we're both aware of that space mm-hmm. and basically i'm of the opinion that this this album is going to win us over not necessarily on country but beyonce is going to do it well enough that we're going to enjoy it because you heard texas hold'em yes texas hold'em was great yes the other song i've heard is 16 carriages and that one's good too but um i think it's i think it's just it's good to to say where we are like mentally in terms of Country, just not huge country fans. Um, I'm okay with some country. I just don't ever listen to it. <laughs> so That's I don't know how that works. <laughs> all I listened to for like two years in high school. Oh, really? I didn't know that. That's why I know the words to so many songs. Yeah. So you liked it in high school. Oh, I loved it in high school. And then what changed? You met a boy that liked listened to metal? Then you started listening no, to Tool? No, I just got tired of it. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, I just got tired of it. That is literally all... I listen to, mm. and it, he does kind of grimace when a country song comes on, like an older one, <laughs> and I know all the words, and he's just like, how? How? I, I, don't, can't, I, honestly, I can't remember the titles of anything or what the words oh, that's, are that's a fact, or yeah, anything, yeah. but you play a country song from high school number of years ago <laughs> and 90s there's something in my brain that goes oh yeah i know this every single word yeah it's so, amazing how music does that it just sticks. yeah it's wild but only with country maybe that's why i resent it a little bit is that's the only thing i can remember you don't really you don't remember lyrics to other songs no. really no or wow, this is kind of my like blind. I'm really I'm good of... at getting the lyrics wrong, so I can go along with the melody, but I will <laughs> make up my own lyrics or like they're the concept is mostly the same. <laughs> I think. Like me when I was a kid, the Roxanne song. Oh yeah, Rock Slide. Yeah, you don't have to put all the roads away. <laughs> <laughs> it made no yeah. sense to me, but that's what he was saying. Yeah. Rock Slide, put yeah. all the roads away. <laughs> Our poor son's gonna have to sit there and listen to this bullshit for a couple of hours. He has his headphones on. Yeah, he's fine. Yeah. Uh, what was the other thing I was gonna say? <laughs> there was another thing. I don't remember. It was. Not being fans of country. But I'm excited because she has such an incredible voice that, yeah, it'll be great. And she's a good storyteller. And that's one thing that I do appreciate about country is the stories. Now, the ones that I remember are repetitive, but um, I I really love stories. Well, and I do think... Yeah, country does do that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and they're nostalgic and stuff like that. And yeah, so they're kind of in the feels a little bit. And yeah, yeah, so we'll see. We'll see. From the album cover, she it looks like she's trying to go back on that a little bit. Back on what? 
like the nostalgic, but more of the, the show pony, show pony sort of thing. Just oh. kidding. Yeah, and this is another thing too. I don't know anything about like, ranching culture or rodeo rodeo culture or any like i don't i don't know anything about that well do you want me to tell you no about this no, picture? No, no, okay. no 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 <laughs> although actually it might be uh pertinent but um you know also something i also think of too is some of the the hubbub about this album is you know beyonce is coming to take country music back type of thing there's been some of that discussion and it makes me think of jack white Mm -hmm. on it might get loud when he's talking about the blues and all this and like learning about the history of it and he of of rock you know mm -hmm. playing rock learning rock playing guitar and then studying it and going into the history and going straight to the blues mm -hmm. and basically the being the the birthplace of all of it has she made mention of anything like that i haven't i you know this is the hard thing i try and stay away from okay. stuff so that i don't spoil because i feel like people over politicize things yeah, so they much do. They do. and it could just be she's like hey let's try something new yeah. oh that's what it was thank what? you so point one we're starting from a place of not being huge country fans point right. two I, I i didn't look this up i forgot beyonce i think is the female artist with the most grammy awards okay She's never won an album of the year. Okay. So well, I'm curious to see, is, is she going to be able to do that uh -huh. through a different genre? You know, th so this could be like this whole like moment in music history type thing where this, this R&B pop star crosses over to country and she makes this incredible album. I don't know, but I just want to keep that in mind because this, this will be in the discussion. I guarantee it. Okay, but... I don't want to get into that discussion because it's... Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not saying the discussion of the video. I'm okay, saying good. In, in the music realm, people are going to be talking about that. There's so much drama and all that other stuff. Yeah. And and granted, there's issues and things to discuss, but I just want to enjoy it. Well, let's <laughs> enjoy it. There's 27 songs, an hour and 18 minutes. We got all the time in the world. We can take a break if we want to and what have you. Okay. Uh, I didn't bother looking up any music videos. Are you okay with that? I yeah. figure that's fine. We don't, we don't need the music. We can watch them if we want to, but uh, let's drop in. Cowboy Carter, Beyonce. Um, just drop into track one, I guess. American Requiem. It's Sorry. spelled with two eyes. I don't know why. Is it the second one? The second one, what? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know either. A lot of producers here. Beyonce, John Batiste, no or idea. Or is it supposed to a Mary I can? I don't know. I don't know. Or is it a typo? I don't know. But you'll see that through this album. See Blackbird. I think there's a couple covers. Jolene is a cover. Dolly Parton you know, did yeah. Jolene. So mm -hmm. I think there's a couple covers in here. We might, You might recognize some. Anyway, let's jump in. Track one, American Requiem, first time listening to the new Beyonce album, Cowboy Carter. Here we go. Nothing really is. But the same, they have to change again. Hello, my old friend. So we start out like a hymn. Yeah, a little bit. Okay, cool. It's a lot of talking going on while I sing my song. Can you hear me? I like the sound of the guitar. I say, do you hear me? It's got a kind of a almost like a psychedelic there, there, layer to it. Look at it. Look at it. Oh, the bass is rumbling. But let me make myself clear. I like how it sounds so far. Yeah, it echoes Can you that hear me? It echoes that one song. <laughs> <laughs> you the, hear me? There's something happening here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Can A little bit. I love the 
build, just slowly unfolding. A minute left, we'll just let it finish. I don't know why I'm crying. <laughs> I know, I know, right? Right? <laughs> no, no, that was... That doesn't make any sense. No, it does, Eleanor. It's got power. It's gonna transition. I'm positive there. Okay, what does requiem mean? I f I don't remember. I don't I don't remember. Should have looked it up. Seth, what does requiem mean? Requiem. Yeah, requiem. R e q i e. All I remember is the alien movie. The alien. Movie. Google it real quick, please. <laughs> okay. Yeah, look it up. Uh, so that was incredible. Yeah. So I I am not positive. We'll look on the annotation here, but I am pretty sure. A mass for a deceased person. Or, or a musical composition for a mask, or a musical composition for a mask. Or a hymn composition mask. or service for the dead. Oh. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Thank you. Um. Right here, this section right here. You say I spoke to country, then rejection came. I wasn't country enough. I think this is in reference to Daddy oh. Lessons. So there was a big hubbub a couple years ago. The song Daddy Lessons yeah. that we were listening to this morning that Wait. we love. Yes. Uh, there's like, there's three other ones. Oh, uh, that's worry. okay. Yeah, don't worry about Thank it. Thank you. Anyway, she, I guess she played it. She did a live performance with some other artists on c the country music, whatever, and people were upset about it. People like to be upset. But I think that's what she's talking about here. Uh, to countries, criticism, yeah. So Lemonade this is a 50th annual Country Music Association Award. For major disapproval and heavy racism from conservative country fans who question the role of black people. <laughs> anyway, yes. yeah. anyway. No, people really like to get upset because then they don't have to. Well, I'm gonna. Then they don't. <laughs> <laughs> so she no. does get nervous because she worries about like saying the wrong thing and and, and whatever. I so do. you you might hear her like bumble a little bit. <laughs> Don't worry. Don't don't feel obligated to say anything. You don't you don't have to take a position. You don't have to not take whatever you want to say. Just say, OK, it's, it's not a big deal. But that's what she's talking about right there. And I think it's great in the sense of she's talking, like, look where I fucking came from. Oh, I'm sorry. I got to I'll try and chill out on the swearing on this video, too. Like you were saying before, let's make it a little family friendly. Just, <laughs> yeah. But look where I came from. You rejected me because I was too country right. and I didn't speak right and all this other crap. Now I'm big and now I go to make country and you reject that too. So that's another reason why I am excited about this album. Because Beyonce is an incredible artist. And you just can't, in my opinion, I don't care who you are or what you say, you can't deny good music. Right. You just and those, can't. <laughs> those people who do probably get completely go off the handle if someone puts ketchup on their hamburger and they don't want it. So, <laughs> yeah. well, the, the thing is what I'm hopeful for with this is that it's going to be so good that it can't be denied. That's the kind of thing I like when, when structures get shook a little bit because somebody comes through and just changes the game. That would be really nice. Well, this is where I get super grouchy. <laughs> uh, do we want to talk about this? Or no, just, let's, yeah, just let's just leave it. Anyway. Yeah. I, I, I hope that happens. Um, I think the song's beautiful. Oh, yeah. That was a great start. Yeah, I started tearing up when the bass came in. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> That's because we're both kind of tired. That's why. <laughs> no, it's got Maybe this Maybe I great... should have had... I got myself some, like, warm water to drink. <laughs> yes. My brother will love that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, 
instead of having a third cup of coffee. <laughs> and I think that was a, my poor life decision for the day. Uh, Anyways. There's some beautiful lyrics in here. Can we stand for something? Can you stand me? Coming in peace and love. Taking up a lot of space. Salty tears. Like, Well, in the vocals, the sounds that she uses, like, I mean, this doesn't do it justice when it says out. That's not what oh, she yeah, said. Yeah, right, right. The little, yeah. Ah! Oh, my goodness <laughs> gracious. No, but the, um, like she always, not like she always, not like I've heard a whole bunch of, as she, I've heard her do in the past, um, the way she uses her voice like an instrument is just mm -hmm. incredible to listen to. Well, let's keep moving because we're 20 minutes into a five yeah yeah we got a long ways to go so let's move on to track two i i think this is a cover i'm not positive what's it okay paul mccartney yeah. a member of the beatles and the writer of the original song so this is a cover we might be familiar with this this is called blackbird again with the two eyes i don't know maybe it's because it's part two of the renaissance thing or something like that maybe that's why is it part two of the renaissance? i mean that's so the, a very renaissance-esque cover she has this trilogy the, going on Renaissance, the the one we listened to before, that was part one. This is part two, and supposedly part three is supposed to be a rock album, which I am so out of my mind excited for because that song with Jack White is amazing. Yeah, and if he got Meg, so if it basically the White Stripes and Beyonce together, and who knows who else, oh, that would that'd be, be incredible. Oh, I, I can't wait. Anyway, anyway, all right, let's drop into track two, Blackbird. Oh, is Spotify gonna not work? This I so this is a great track. Where if you if you pause at the very end of a song yes. and then try to play the next song, it won't play it. So you have to go back and then play it. <laughs> oh yeah. Blackbird singing in the this one. Oh I like this. Well I like her version better so far. And learn to fly all your life. I like the little tap. Waiting for this moment to arise. It sounds phenomenal. Yeah. Into the light of a dark night. Ah, oh, the strings come in. Voice is incredible. Mm -hmm. Huh. Okay, that was great. Huh. And that was a very interesting transition to yeah. the next. Okay, we're rising and we're changing. Yeah. So, sixteen carriages is one I've heard. This was one yeah. of the singles that was released. Mm -hmm. You have not heard this. I'm going to tell you one thing to pay attention to. It's not a spoiler, but. Okay. One thing to pay attention to. I'm trying to remember something to say later. Do you want to say it now? Yeah. Go ahead. So, so, so far, if we're going to go with the storytelling thing, mm -hmm. we've got American Requiem. Mm -hmm. I don't think I pronounced that correctly, which is uh, the, the music at a mass for a funeral a lot of times. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. she's changing, and now I'm assuming she's the blackbird who's going to rise maybe into this I, I, different maybe. area or something I don't, like I don't that. Know. I, I'm not going to be looking for any kind of overarching story in the album. Yeah, but you know that I'm going to... Well, you can you happen. can have fun with what you want. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm not going to worry too much. Okay, yeah, this is the one... You haven't heard this. I haven't? No, you've heard Texas Hold'em. Oh, yes. Yeah, that was, one. That was amazing. That one's amazing. I can't wait to get back to Unfortunately, <laughs> if you go on any sort of internet-based anything, you hear it every 30 seconds. Oh, really? Oh, Is yeah. it already just ruined? Oh. Like, oh, I, there's so bad. many things that I immediately shut off because I don't want it to be ruined because yeah. I like it so much. That's, I, that's one thing I have somehow been fortunate to just... I'm not in it's it's weird for as much music stuff as I do I'm not involved in any music stuff like online like I'm not on TikTok I don't watch reels I don't I don't watch or consume any content that really uses music yeah which but is nice they me. don't play they don't play Beyonce on Helldivers or oh maybe I will 
Maybe I'll start playing Helldivers and Beyonce together. <laughs> Blackbird, fly away. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so 60 carriages. It's a pretty good song. Uh, it's you, you might you might cry. I don't know, but I, I want you I want you to pay attention to the, the that that the well has already been primed. The so. the production on the on the chorus. Uh-huh. So the first chorus you'll hear the production, and on the second chorus I want to I want you to pay attention to how the production sounds then because okay. the lyrics shift, and the production kind of follows it, and it's really cool. I I, I loved it. Okay. All right, here we go. Here's 16 Carriages, Beyonce, Inc., and Dave Hamlin. Sixteen carriages driving away while I watch them ride with my dreams away to the summer sunset on a holy night on a long black road all the tears I fight. Sixteen carriages driving away while I watch them ride with my dreams away to the summer sunset on a holy night on a long black road on the tears I fight. It's been umpteen summers and I'm not in my bed on the back of the bus in a bunk with the band. Going so hard, gotta choose myself. Underpaid and overwhelmed. I might cook clean but still won't fall. Still working all my life, you know. Only God knows, only God knows, only God knows. Sixteen carriages driving away while I watch the ride with my fears away to the summer sunset on a holy night on a long back road on the tears I find. Do I talk at all? That was what you wanted to talk about. The, so that's that's the first the production on the that's chorus. That's the first section essentially. So you've got the lyrics. You know, I'm not in my bed on the back of the bus, you know, in a bunk with the band, going so hard, underpaid, overwhelmed. I love this line. I love this line. I might cook clean, but still won't fold. Yeah. I love that line. It's so good. You know, 15, Innocence Gone Astray, I had to leave home. And when I did the singles reaction, one of the comments was somebody kind of felt like that like crack. It almost sounds like a whip crack, the way it kind of cracks in. Almost, you know. Which would make... Okay. You know? Yeah. Now slaving away that. at it, you know, and it's well, just a harsh sound. You'd have and, the whip to have the horses go faster. Well, it's also just harsh, you know? And because what she's describing here early on is pretty harsh. Grinding away, leaving at 15, working, underpaid, overwhelmed, all these different things, right? These emotions, these feelings. And what I hear is a bunch of people going in semi-unison, but tired. Yeah, sure. Yeah. And yeah, so yeah, you yeah. have that little bit of a like. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone um, trying to like clap at the same time. But not clapping. It's like a, no, I it's like a stomp. Yeah. yeah. Or a something. Yeah. But it's a it's a heaviness and a, a weariness. And a, um, I like that. I, I appreciate that you pointed out the thing about folding because my brain immediately went to folding clothes. Which, well, that's what's such a great. That's what's so great. It's, it's both. <laughs> it's both. It's, yeah. It's the it's folding great. clothes and it's the not giving in. Yeah. I'm not going to fold. I'm not going to yeah, break. Yeah. Even I though like this that. is very hard. So that's the, something that I really like about music is they have those. Yeah. They have those Word things. They have the little and double meanings yeah. and all that stuff. And what's what I love about this song is they do it with the production too. So now we'll move into the the second part, the back half, basically, because you got you got the 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 lyrics here that you understand what's going on here. Yeah. And now it alters a little bit. And, it's, and this song is not what I expected for it to be the next song because at the end of Blackbird, oh, there was like, like kinda, two little. Yeah. The last two seconds or so, it got a little bit um, like synthetic mm -hmm. and a little bit more. Yeah club to I don't know how to say it. Alright, well let's keep going here. Sixteen So we're building Yeah. Listen to we, it now. And we have more of a getting more complicated. There's more energy to it. Yeah. It's not as simplistic. It's like there's more behind it. Well, I think there's just more, less struggle now. Yes. Yeah. And she's talking about how it's, you know, 38 summers later. So she's older, she's still going hard, but now she misses her kids instead of her parents.
what's the significance of the 16 carriages? Is that just representing... Know. She said she was 15. Right. There's so, something I'm missing about that. I don't know. I don't know if there's anything specific about 16 carriages. I don't know, I don't know. if stagecoaches used to go... They didn't used to travel in 16s. Was that something? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. There's something very basic I'm missing on that. Well, that's me every Friday. <laughs> I've gotten used to not knowing a whole lot of things. <laughs> no, I, I think this song's beautiful. I love how it shifts forward. Now she's grown up. Mm -hmm. She's got her own kids. She's working for this future. She's achieved so much. And I love how the production shifts. And it doesn't feel like... Like when I did the single reaction, I likened it to... Initially, it feels like you're trying to pull this thing, mm -hmm. pull the 16 mm -hmm. carriages. Mm -hmm. But now on the second part, because of the sound, it feels like you're riding the carriages. Yeah, yeah, I can go along with that because like the the steps that were sem in semi-unison, mm -hmm. like we talked about at the beginning, it did feel like that they were just downtrodden. And then later, it's, it's the same thing, but, but because... It's just it's so great. Because <laughs> it's of so great, man. The symbols and everything behind it, it feels a little bit more um, like standing up yeah. straight. And I like how at the beginning in my brain, I don't know if this is how she did it, but I could I envisioned her on a little stage, hardly anybody there, and then oh. with the addition of the instruments. Yeah. Then my brain went to larger concerts, bigger mm -hmm. audiences, larger uh, budgets, and so an increase in um, complexity with the instruments mm -hmm. and the backup singers and all this other stuff. Um, so yeah. That, no, that's cool, man. Ain't got no time to waste. I got art to make. Yeah. Got love to create on this holy night. Fucking cool song. Does that mean Barry. she worked on Christmas? Uh, I don't know. Well, it's not capitalized, so probably not. <laughs> Beautiful song. I love I love 16 Carriages. All right, let's move on to track four, which is called Protector. Uh, produced by Beyonce and Jack Rowe. Not for So this will be a new one for me. Track four, Protector. Can I hear the warm by please? <laughs> I'm loving all the acoustic guitar so far, too. And there I was, tangled up in Marigold. We were listening to the Reverend Children singing. Sing, 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 yeah. sing, sing, sing. low as the garden river flows while the August light becomes a golden evening. Yeah. Mm. Her voice is incredible, man. Mm. I can't get enough of it. cut, pick right off a given tree. I gave water to the soil, and now it feeds me. Yeah, yeah. And there you are, shaded underneath it all. I feel proud of who I am because you need me. Yeah. yeah. Huh. Even though I know someday you're going to shine on your own. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's just beautiful. I've been on the verge too this whole time. Yeah. <laughs> I do. Yeah. It's just beautiful. And I don't know if she meant to. Well, hold on, let's let it finish. There's 30, 30 seconds left. Okay. Yeah. 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 That was phenomenal. Yeah, that was phenomenal. Okay, what were you going to say? Can I you say it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is great. I can uh, probably say it in like two or three songs from now. Okay. Well, you were trying to say, you know, you don't know if she meant to do it, but she did something. 
She meant to make you cry. Yes, that's step one. Why did I bother putting makeup on my face? <laughs> that was just completely pointless. Uh, anyways, whatever. I think it's, I mean, I, but I mean, this to me is a beautiful thing too, because think about how different your two lives are, you know, Beyonce and you, but here she can write this song that connects with you so well, that probably connects with her tremendously as well, you know, for probably reasons that are fairly similar, I'm sure, you know, mm -hmm. you can't talk at all, can you? I'm on my own right now. I want to hear you try so I can hear your voice break. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's incredible. That was a beautiful song. No, she, I don't know if she meant to um, reference this kid's book called The Giving Tree. Oh, 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 oh. Is that one? Is that where, is that this part, huh? verse one? Down. Oh, oh, oh. Right off The Giving Tree. Here, let's check the energy. Yep, The Giving Tree. Oh. I, it, if we have. Is that song, or is that book too sad? It's horrible. Because it's sad? Yeah. Yeah. It's a meaning it's a great book. It's just sad, so you hate it. Yeah. But you love it because it's sad, but you hate it. Yeah. <laughs> she has a very love hate relationship <laughs> with books that she loves, but she hates them because she loves them so much because they're sad, but that's why she loves them, but she hates it. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. That's beautiful. Beautiful. Uh, her voice, man. Oh, uh, her voice coupled with the just light acoustic guitars. Oh, it's just heaven. Absolute heaven. Yeah. You don't really need any more than that. Yeah. Incredible. Which goes along with the theme of that book. Oh, really? Oh, you gosh. just, yeah. Yeah. No, I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, you want to keep going then? Yeah. Okay. Okay. No, that was just a big old hot mess. That's good. Oh, it was destined to just be oh, yeah, yeah, a yeah. hot mess. That's all right. Okay. We're doing this is great. I mean, so far we're four Look for it, four. It's getting all the way down my neck. It is ridiculous. <laughs> and that's why you gotta get a beard. It catches your tears. You need a beard. <laughs> just put this on there. So okay. the the next two tracks are like fifty seconds. And this Track six, Smoke Hour with Willie Nelson. I'm assuming it's going to be like a maybe a skit because then it rolls into Texas Hold'em. Okay. So I'm just going to play five and six, and then we'll pause before Texas Hold'em if we want to. But anyway, here's here's track five. Oh, it's a song. Cool. What about track six? There's a little like chatting part. Okay. All right. So we'll, we'll roll through my rows and into Smoke Hour with Willie Nelson, and then we'll pause before Texas Hold'em. Let yourself get you down. Let yourself get you down. Let yourself get you down. Oh. So many roses, but none to be picked without thorns. So be fond of your flowers. Fond of your flowers. You're my love, my sweetie pal, my baby. You're my heart. Huh. That was beautiful. Yeah. 53 seconds. Yeah. You want to say anything about it? No, I'm thinking about the giving tree. Oh, okay. Let it go. <laughs> <laughs> no, that song just, uh, that was most of the essence of oh, that book. Oh, really? Yeah. So she just nailed it, basically? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, someday, someday you'll be able to tell me. Someday. <laughs> Many years from now, you'll sit me down and okay, I can finally tell you about the uh, giving tree. And that, so that remember the name of the song, Protector. That was the name of the song. No, okay. Uh, okay, go ahead. I can do this. Sure. It's gonna sound horrible, guys. It is, but I can do this. Okay. So, <laughs> <laughs> I'm only laughing because I do the same thing when I get all choked up. Like I can't. I just can't talk. My like my throat feels like a fist, you know. Okay, so the I'm gonna say okay, so like fifty times. Yeah. Um. The reason why the giving tree is so great. Yeah. And we're gonna go up like three octaves, but it's not gonna be in a good way. Um. The reason why the giving tree is so great in um 
her position. Yeah. With what you're talking about before, as far as whatever she does, everybody has something critical to say. Oh, okay. So in the giving tree, um, the tree. You do it. Gives this kid absolutely everything. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then <laughs> the kid doesn't really appreciate it. Oh, oh, yeah. Very fitting. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you were earlier, you're kind of like trying to figure out, you know, if there was a story going to be told through the album, and I don't know. But, you know, you might be picking up on a couple of breadcrumbs that uh, Beyonce is leaving for everybody. Like, yeah, I'm giving you everything and you're not appreciating it. That's a huge, I think that's a huge uh, reference right there. That's a huge reference. Yeah, that's why I don't like that book. <laughs> <laughs> Damn kids. <laughs> yeah, just that one. Just that one. <laughs> just that one. It's a, yeah, no. All right, well, are you ready to kind of cheer up a little bit? I would really like to. What we're going to do, well, we're going to finish up the smoke hour. It's just this little skit, and it will just roll right into Texas Hold'em, okay? Okay. You okay with that? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you did it. You told the story about the tree yeah. and the book. All right. Hey, me. <laughs> oh, boy. I wonder if these are all like little songs that she used to listen to. And if you don't want to go, go find yourself a jukebox. <laughs> Here we go. Oh man. This song is incredible. It's been a while since I've heard it. Everybody so has put this song onto everything that they do. It's, I mean, it's, it's just so, insanely catchy. It's so easy. What I love and too it's is so comforting. What I love is that it uses all of the elements that you would you would think of when you're putting together like a poppy, catchy song. Yes. But I don't feel like it's beating me over the head with it. No. Like it's it doesn't not sound gen- like something on Nickelodeon right. or Disney it's not or generic. whatever. Yeah. Like yeah. So often the formula for like the rom-com movie trailer is that chippy yeah. li- and I and yeah. I just I'm so sick of that. <laughs> so yeah. this has those elements but it uses them correctly I feel like rather than right. just just generic copy paste same song again type thing. I don't know. Maybe I'm probably just biased it's, but it's like a gold standard. God, it's so good. It just sounds yeah. so good. Yeah. With a little whistle. I know, everything. everything. Like, everything. It just... I think a lot of it is just like these layered vocals right here. Yes. So well, it ticks, it ticks all the boxes, but you didn't even know that those boxes needed to be ticked. It's just like, oh, yeah, yeah, that's what I needed. One step to the right, and I'll be damned if I cannot dance with you. Come for some sugar, homie, honey, too. It's a real life book. <laughs> I can't help it. I can't help it, man. This is great. So great. It's so far. This... Uh, I don't. I'm. I maybe I'm uh, reading too much into it. But uh, this line right here, "Pour some sugar on me," that's the name of a very popular Def Leppard song. 
Oh, really? Yeah. Pour what? some sugar on me. You, you would know it if I played it for you. What are they talking about? Or should I not ask? Usually every single rock song from the 80s is about sex. <laughs> <laughs> In some form or another. Pretty much all of them. All right. God, that, that song is fantastic, man. It's so fun. Yeah, we haven't really talked too much about lyrics. I think, but I think it's okay. I think really, like, the lyrics are, yes, are fairly but, straightforward. There's not, you know, it's not like there's anything written in code. She's she's making references, like on sixteen carriages. You know, she's referencing her life and stuff like that. But we've talked a little bit. There's been overarching, and yeah. I tried to talk about. You did it. You did the giving tree. You you got it out. You got out the 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 very important part of this idea of giving everything and not being appreciated for it. That is huge, in my opinion. Especially on this coming from Beyonce, with what happened with Daddy Lessons and the Country Music well, Awards. Well, and, and all the that. tree doesn't ask for anything either. That's good to know too. Yeah. That's really good to know. It just gives freely. Yeah. Well, so far, this album has felt that way. It feels like somebody making music for the love of the music. Like, these songs have been fantastic. Yeah. You ready for more? Have anything to say? No. No? That looks wildly uncomfortable. (laughs) Okay, yeah. On the bodyguard? Yeah. Okay. All right, here we go. Track eight is bodyguard. Producer is Raphael Sadiq, I suppose. Two, three, four. different. I thought about mentioning something before the song started and then so it was kind of it was kind of interesting that she said it um I'm a little bit of a control freak (laughs) and you know and I'm tired and so um, I like how this has just been like your confession hour so far. All these different things. <laughs> it's, so I've been a little bit of a train wreck. Uh. <laughs> and um, I, was, I was struggling listening to this album because I was feeling a little bit resentful. Just, that was totally on me. Feeling a little bit resentful because I was like, I'm eg- exhausted and I'm tired and I'm falling apart. <laughs> And then she brings Texas Hold'em and comes up and brings me back up. And so I was struggling internally, being resentful that I had to like rely on her to pick me back up. And then this comes on <laughs> and she's saying, I'm your bodyguard. I take care of you. I'm like, no, I'm taking, I want to take care of myself. But are, you t- are you tired of being Beyonce's pawn? I control your emotions. <laughs> I was like, but then I was like, but she's helping and blah, blah, blah. And then I, th- and then she brings, was, the, the problem is that this is playing into exactly how I've been feeling. So is a little bit eerie and the control freak side of me was like, no, I'm going to do this on my own. You're fighting the music. No, it's, I think. So that's pretty neat. I, I was kind of thinking as this song was coming in, it's got a different sound. And I was like, okay, well, there's a lot of tracks on here. So we might 
be moving into like different stages of the album. So we might be moving into a different yeah. like stage, yeah. a different act. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm kind of curious. I feel like I'm overthinking the album. Oh, it's raining. Yeah. Because I want to like analyze this and figure out what it's really about. But maybe it doesn't have to be about. It's I mean, about me needing more coffee. That's what it's about. Well, would you want to take a break after this and get coffee? Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll let's work through this in the next one because it's only we'll we'll get up to Jolene. Uh, but anyway, okay. like part of me wants to go. Oh, what does this mean? But really, I think in terms of the lyrics, one thing that she's been doing very well is I, I like it when artists have open-ended lyrics mm -hmm. where they can write a song that's specific and personal to them, but they write it in a way that it can apply for everyone. And she is just spot on when it comes to that. She's, yeah, she's incredible doing a great job. about the, what I've heard. She's so good at giving just enough of herself that people can relate and yeah. not overdoing it, not mm -hmm. oversharing it, not playing up, um, not bragging about, all that she has or but i mean I this is bragging song, about what you haven't had I'm like i don't but she does a beautiful job of balance yeah this song is interesting because you know leave lipstick on the cigarette just toss it out and you stomp it out inhaling whiskey when you kiss my neck we've been hurting but it's happy hour they couldn't have me and they never will sometimes i hold you closer just to know you're real what does this mean wheels in the gravel so on the Pause. road yeah, so that's a so long reference. Hold, 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 hold. And then Miles da oh, Miles oh. Davis. Sure. Okay. 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 Yeah. So is she talking about music? I don't know. I don't that know. Would be, that would be my guess. I could be your bodyguard. I could be your Kevlar lifeguard. Let me ride shotgun. Let's finish this up. Okay. Let's, I vote she's talking about Well, let's finish it, and music. then we can, we can... Let's see. I mean, she might be more specific in the second half here. Okay. Going. A little prelude. It's really short. Let's hey, just, Miss Honeybee. It's, it's going to feed into. Pee. You know that hussy with the good hair you sang about? Reminded me of someone I knew back then. Oh. Except she has flaming locks of Auburn hair. Oh. Bless your heart. It's what's her face. Just the hair of a different color, but hers just the same. So it's, it's Jolene. So this line, this is from uh, Lemonade. Remember, you better go see Becky yes. with the good hair. Yes, yes, yes. That's what. Uh, that's who Dolly Parton is talking about. That that song. You know that hussy with the good hair you sang about? Uh-huh. That's the song from Lemonade. That So cool. there's a connect I like that. That's kinda cool that yeah. Dolly Parton's talking about Beyonce's so song. Is, and, does Jolene have red hair or is she talking about um what's her face? Who's the other one, the country singer with red hair that turned into acting? I don't know. I don't know. No, I don't, I don't I, no, no. I think what she's saying is it reminded me of someone I knew back when. Uh huh. Except she has flaming lot. So she was talking, you better go see Becky with the good hair. Right, right. Dolly Parton was talking about this person. Yes. Which is the song Jolene. Okay. 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 Do you want to take a break? Do you want to hear Jolene? I want to take a break. Okay, we'll take a break. Okay. And then... Uh, you want to show kitties? Okay. okay. You're going to go get coffee? We'll yep. do a kitty break. <laughs> Unprecedented. Oh. Unprecedented in the... Uh, Bob the pop-up channel. Do you want anything? Oops, I hit the table. Uh, oh, I'm breaking sure. all the rules. What are you doing? I'm breaking all the rules. I hit the table. Oh, yeah. No, that's a disaster. Did you want sure. something? Total disaster. This isn't done. I'll take another one, but this okay. isn't done yet. Where's the other kitty? 
Yeah. You want to you want to join in here real quick? Sure. Oh, you know, <laughs> one thing I pride myself on with all of these videos that I've done, especially for Patreon, is that I don't have any edits, you know? And so when we were setting up, I was like, oh, we can take a break. I can cut it. No big deal. But this is kind of fun. One thing I really enjoy about it's, Kevin it's, and Connor right here. turning the tables is their unedited format. You feel like you're hanging out with them. You know, and so this is kind of fun for me to be able to have that option now. We'll show where uh, where does Voodoo go? You can show up, Hippo. Go ahead. Bring him up. Okay. Where does Voodoo go? I don't know. I'm gonna have to find him. Sorry, kid. You just lay down. Don't leave it. Occupy it though, and check the screen. Make sure. There it, you go. This is the kitty. <laughs> She's where's a happy kitty. Where's Voodoo? Did you check? What do you like about Hippo? What does he do? He just sits on your lap and he stays there. You got coffee? I got coffee. It's cold. Oh, there's the other kitty over there. You can microwave it. Go ahead. We're just going to raise hell. This is going to be a crazy old intermission right here. Well, I can't move. So this one's Voodoo. I can't move now. And that one's Hippo. This one was sleeping on your bed. Oh, Mama, go put him back. Okay. He wasn't terribly cranky when he got picked up, but he had a nice warm spot built on oh, your bed. Oh, yeah. Mama, go put him back. You ruined it. I ruined it. <laughs> I can't move now. This guy just, like, sat down on my lap. He's just laying there now. I don't know what I'm going to do. Well, now you're stuck. Yeah. Now you have to... Now you have to sit there and talk about the next song. Oh, well, I haven't even heard it. How am I going to talk about it if I haven't heard it? That's the whole shtick. What? That's the whole the the whole thing is you have to talk about it even though you haven't heard it. Oh. You talk about it as you hear it. Okay. I'm busy doing the pet the kitty. <laughs> You do have to pet the kitty. <sighs> Alright, let's get back to it. Okay. Kitty, I'm gonna move. Okay? You have to move, kitty. I'm sorry. It's over. I'm sorry. Break time's kitty. over. Resting on the lap is over. Everything, it's over. It's all over, kitties. I, I'm so sorry for you, hippo. I'm so sorry. Here's another look. <laughs> kitty. You disturbed the kitty. How I'm dare you? Oh, oh, geez. The chair slid over. Okay, good luck. Don't die. Yeah. Okay. Shotguns. Okay. All right. <laughs> we get to make all our old people voice noises. <laughs> <laughs> At least I match. A lot of times, what I wear on top and what I wear on bottom does not match. <gasps> oh no. <laughs> so Tragedy. It is. It is. Okay. I can do this. Well, it's just, it's just Jolene. Oh, I didn't get you something to drink. Sorry. No, you didn't. No, I know. No, it's okay. <laughs> I offered and yeah. they went, oh, that's nice. Yeah, yeah, that's all right. It's all right. Sorry. It's like I'm going to remember that. You coffee and you just like, oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my brother calls me up the other day. He lives a couple hours away. He's all, you need anything from Winco? I was like, yeah, I need this and this. He's all, mm. That's nice. <laughs> All right. Let's roll into Jolene, uh, which is, I believe, a cover of Dolly Parton's famous country classic. All right. Yeah, here we go. Track 10 is Jolene. And to be honest, I do that too. So, um, when this came out with Dolly Parton, yeah, was this actually happening or was she telling a story? Was what actually happening? Was there some kind of love triangle or whatever with Dolly Parton? And I, I don't know. I don't know anything about the original version. Okay. 
I've heard it before. I'm not overly familiar with it. Not familiar with it enough to see how different this is from the original, but I don't really know much about it. Yeah, I don't. This is a double. I I'm not familiar okay. with. Oh, you song. don't know. You don't. You don't know this one. I I recognize the song from your aunt singing it. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> My aunt has. I have an aunt named Jolene. <laughs> So, but that's the only way I recognize it. Oh, so okay. I recognize her version. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Well, this will sound different. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's keep going. Been deep in love for 20 years. I raised that man, I raised his kids. I know my man better than he knows himself. I always feel badly when people start talking about their spouses as their children. I think, I think more so with with somebody like uh, Jay Z, you know, somebody who's kind of coming up through the street type thing. Yeah, I I don't know much about his childhood, so I don't I don't want to say anything really. No. But and it's very common to say, oh, you know, she uh, not pacified. What's the term? Civilized. Oh, yeah, sure. Civilized uh, me and there's, whatever. There's and... some potential there, but I think also it sounds like with Beyonce, who I also don't know much about, but it sounds like she at least had a relationship with her parents where I don't know if Jay-Z really like knew his father. I have no I, I don't, clue. I don't know. I don't know. Why is that a common thing for the girl to be have this relationship with her parents, but the guy really not to? I don't know. Huh. I don't know. Uh, Where were we? I think we're dropping into the chorus. Let me back it up about 10 seconds because we kind of trampled on it. Jolene, I know I'm a queen. Jolene, I'm still a Creole band, you bitch from Louisiana. <laughs> That's a great line right there, man. Yeah. I like that. There's a thousand girls in every room that act as desperate as you do. You a bird, go on and sing your tune, Jolene. This is cool. A little bit of a fire to it. No man's gonna stand by me, breathing in my gentle I like how at this point of the song it's gotten like she's gotten more threatening. Well more confident too. Confident, but her words are more kind of like you better watch out. But the, the the music is more peppy, and so like she's saying it with a smile, like you can just like, yeah. I like that. Yeah, that was cool. I wish yeah, cool. I knew the original song better to know what yeah, or if she changed, because that would be that would I think add to it. I'm trying not to say fun. That would be fun. That would really add to it to know what lyrics she had changed. Yeah, I don't. I only know the chorus, really. So I don't. Yeah. I don't know what she's changed. I mean, I'm gonna assume that I'm still a Cre- Creole Benji bitch from Louisiana is a uh, uh, original line. <laughs> I really hope it is, but your aunt never sings that line, so I don't know. <laughs> I like this whole. You know, I'm a woman too. The games you play are nothing new. Basically, like. I like the idea of, it seems like a lot of the song is you basically you're a dime a dozen. You are not special. You're just like, I love the other, there's another phrase in here. There's, you know, there's yeah, a thousand yeah. girls in every yeah, room that like, act as desperate as you do. You think you're smart. You think right. you're sneaky, but you're nothing special. These are old tricks. You're literally just like everybody yeah, else. Yeah. Yeah. Why yeah. do you think I haven't tried to do that myself? Or blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I know. That's a cool track. Very cool track. Or seen it, have seen it before. I like the good deeds roll in like tumbleweeds. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I, the, you know, me and my man cross those valleys, highs and lows, and everything between. Good deeds rumble, roll in those tumbling weeds. I sleep good. Have, yeah, that's a cool song. Yeah. Very cool yeah. song. Yeah. I like that. Now, at some point, we're going to have to listen to the original. Yeah, we can do that. Uh, track 11 is called Daughter Produced by Beyonce, Cam, Derek Dixie, Simon Martinson Okay 
Track 11, Daughter. Yeah, so far, only uh, Bodyguard has sound not that country. Everything else has sounded very country. Your blood stains on my custom couture. Bathroom attendant let me right in. She was a big fan. Try to stay cool, but your arrogance disturbed my solitude. Now I ripped your dress and you're all black and blue. Look what you made me do. Huh. I shaved my dress, did my best impression of a damsel in distress. This alcohol and smell of regret, I lured my care. Like this, that shade in my yeah. I was gonna say, this isn't Spanish, this is gonna be Italian. Okay. You wanna pause? Yeah. Okay. What do you think is so, about? I don't care. <laughs> Why do you not care? Because what it's about? this is what I was hoping for. In, um, in it's a story. Oh yeah, but don't you like to know what a story is about? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but this is what when she said, "Oh, I've got a country album." Blah blah blah. I was thinking, okay, great. Beyonce's not going to do the country album about my dog died and my car, bro- my truck broke down. Yeah. Or Lexus or whatever. <laughs> my Lexus broke. And so my Maserati got a flat tire. Yeah, yeah, and um, I got a hole in my boot or whatever, and I'm out of whiskey. This I was like, she's not going to do stories like that. She's going to do better stories, like more original stories. Mm -hmm. And so this is what I was hoping for: this kind of story. And of course, she has Italian in the middle because she's Beyonce, and she would do something like that. Yeah. So what is this song about? Because it would be a Lexus and not a truck. What, what? Is, what is this song about? She, there's this girl who went after her husband and she ripped her a new one. I don't think that's what happened at all. Yeah, she came in. See, the girl's on the floor and she's all bloody. And it's the girl's blood is on Beyonce's dress because she just punched her because she was going, well, whatever. And um, the bathroom attendant oh, okay. let her in. Okay, okay. To okay. see her. Well, here, here. Well, okay, we'll keep going. Yep. Sorry. I'm sorry. Whatever. I'm sorry. I don't trust those. And then um, she's talking about she's nothing like her father, yeah. but she is. And when you cross her like this, then she turns into that. Okay. And um, she's um, stressing over it over and over again. So she's got those fantasies in her head. They aren't. You know, they aren't safe ones, blah, blah, blah. And she tries to go to um, self-control and keep herself down. But she's got this marijuana smoke in her hair. And so she just yeah, uh, okay. defended herself okay. 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 and um, went after it. So, um, and I love, and maybe I'm making this up, but like I said before, of course she doesn't have the truck she has the lexus which is why in the middle of this song where she's got this couture dress on that has this girl's blood on her because she just tore her up she has this little interlude that's in italian and the interlude is translated into my dear beloved believe me at least without you the heart languishes your faithful one always sighs sees cruel ones so much rigor yeah okay yeah that totally goes I don't fellowship with these fake ones. Yeah, the fake girls. But I what she's always talking let's about. Let's finish the song cuz I don't want to like agree or disagree. And I, let's finish the track. I agree that you're telling the story right. I don't I, the one point you're saying about this is a girl that went after her husband. I don't Well, that part I don't know about, but yeah. I knew I I knew no. I do know that Beyoncé won. Well, let's finish. And her let's, dress is going to need to go to the cleaners. Let's finish the song. Okay, let's finish and hear the rest of the lyrics. I'm all ready. I know. I know. I know. I know. <laughs> is this, this is 
is actually Beyonce singing it too. Of course it is. It's common for. Crazy. Her voice is unbelievable. It's common to sing, like, especially in college and stuff, sing in other languages. You have no clue what's going on. But. I'm just talking about the sound, not the. Uh, oh, language. yeah, no, it's that's why it's so fun, is that you focus on. Not that I sing, but. I don't fellowship okay. with these fake ones, so let's travel to white chapels and sing hymns. Double cross me, I'm just like my father. I am cold. Ah. Okay, I. Yeah, no, the way she said him was, it was, it was rough. It was just like, I'm, um, I'm holding myself back. Yeah. I'm going to go to this place. Yeah. I'm going to be there, but I'm holding back this other, now the song, don't mess with me, which definitely goes <laughs> off of Jolene. <laughs> I can tell you've had some coffee because now you're just going and going and going oh, yeah. and going and going. The song threw me off at first. Because it's called Daughter, and I was trying to figure out how that fell into everything. She's her father's daughter. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And I like the outro. I mean, it comes through It, it comes through in the song, but in the outro, it, it's cemented. Yeah. You know, I'm just like my father. Yeah. I am colder than mm-hmm. Titanic mm-hmm. was. So that's a killer song. Mm-hmm. And what I love, too, is the song itself. I'm not concerned about the specifics of this scenario and who did what. It's more of it her, doesn't matter. It's her reaction to it, and I like how the lyrics and the song, the story that's being told, is more how she's trying to hide from her own self the fact that she is just like her father. I don't think she's trying to hide. I think she's trying. Yes, she is. To, no, oh, she's yes, not she trying is. to hide. Right here, right here, right here. Did my. De- did my best impression of a damsel in dis- dis- distress, the alcohol and smell of regret, allured my catch. Outfit too hot, too small to hide, feeling bottled up. So she's trying to like keep it all under control. Right. Not try to hide, but to keep it under control. Well, that's kind of the same thing though. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. I really tried to stay cool. Right. You can try, you can recognize that you have this about yourself uh-huh. and recognize that it's not the best way to live your life right. and so you keep it under control but every now and then there's an instance where it's appropriate to use it to your advantage and what i'm saying is maybe this specific instance whatever it was mm-hmm. was when she finally realized oh shit i am just like my father maybe up until this point she's always oh you know i don't want to be like that i don't want to do like that but then realizing because of this, because she beat the shit out of somebody, mm-hmm. she went, oh, wow, I am my father's daughter. That's what I'm saying. That's that's what I'm saying. Okay. And, and that's very this possible. Is, this, is, this is us agreeing while disagreeing. <laughs> we do this all the time. All the time. All, we'll all the time. And oh, my God, it's amazing. <laughs> It's just like, oh, I, <clears throat> I acknowledge that you believe that. <laughs> <laughs> I agree with what you're saying. Yeah. What was it on the, um, <laughs> on, was it on Avengers? I like your plan. Oh, that's, say? um, yeah, it's, when it's one of them. Yeah. I like Star your plan, Lord. but it sucks. Yeah. So let's get a new plan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I think she uses her way, her side of herself uh, as her, her father's side of herself as a weapon. And she just lets it out when it needs to come out. And the rest of the time, um, she, um, she keeps it um, sequestered and um, plays this other side, the damsel in distress, the sashaying with the dress and things like that. And she lets out her father when she needs to. Maybe. I, I'm not going to agree. That's, that's, the, that's the, we're saying basically the same thing. We are. And I think, I think we should move forward just because we got a lot. We're not even halfway through the album yet. Are you kidding me? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, so the next one is spaghetti. Like a spaghetti western? Yeah, I was wondering if that's what it was going to be, like a spaghetti western. So this one might be like a little over the top. So this Linda, but, Linda Martell, I think... Isn't uh, a country music artist? The next cat. Oh, no, 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 no. So she's got some album from the 70s. So I have to 
assume that Beyonce probably grew up listening to her or something like the that. The next cat we get, can we call him Shabuzi? It's a great name, isn't it? Shabuzi. Yes. Yeah. All right, let's jump into track 12. Spaghetti. Daughter Gets a Heart. That's a great track. Yeah. Great track. Yeah. All right, here's Spaghetti. Genres are a funny little concept, aren't they? Yes, they are. That Beyonce Virgo shit. <laughs> Is this song her father coming out? No. no. This is Beyonce just talking shit. This is great. Bounty on my head, can't go right, stay on my shoes. No matter what the charge is, ease, we ain't gonna tell the truth. Haha. Ha. That was cool. Yeah. That no, was very cool. That ties right into daughter, that's why I think. Well maybe. But I think also it's you know, keeping that idea in mind this I mean this is she's it opens up with genres are a funny little concept, are they? Oh, yeah. She is just talking shit about anyone who's telling her you need to stay in your lane, you need to stay in your genre. Like, that's what that was right there. That was her saying, go fuck yourself. Yeah, and I like this. <laughs> yes. And I like this especially because, oh, this is supposed to be a country album. This is not uh, your standard this is incredible. country album, which is fabulous. Yeah. Um. Because she's just doing what she wants with the country. Yeah. And so, and there is a lot of it. But I do think this piggybacks, this goes very nicely after Daughter, simply because, to oversimplify, that last line, no matter what the charge is, we ain't going to tell the truth. Yeah, maybe. I mean, I, I'm not going, I haven't, I'm not on that. I know, but I am. Lane, yeah. And that's, that's, that's fine. I you know, but I I look at this line, keep the code, break the rules. That to me sounds very uh you know, falls in line with the idea of breaking genres. Well breaking into genres. And that's what <clears throat> really starts defining people who do absolute great things in in art. Are you ready? I'm gonna go on the side. Oh no 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 hold on. Let's talk about lyrics first, because you're gonna go on a long one, aren't you? Um, maybe like 30 seconds. This one, know the law man watching me every time I move. And so that I could see that as critics. Mm -hmm. If she moves out of her lane, oh, we're watching mm -hmm. you. You can't do that. We're bounty, not going to let you do that. Bounty on bounty my, head. my head. So they're looking for anything can't to Can't go, go wrong. west. You know, can't go west. Can't go country. You mm -hmm. know, that oh, kind yes. of thing. Yeah. Uh, and this verse is just great because she's rapping, which is, of course, going to infuriate anybody in the country. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Still on your head, cornrows. Oh, beautiful. Uh, they call me the captain, catwalk assassin. When they know it's slapping, then here they come yapping. Oh, just spitting fire. All mm -hmm. of this snitching and all of this bitching, just efficient expedition, dumb admission. Oh, my God, dude. <laughs> Cunty, country, petty, petty, petty. All the same to me, plain Jane spaghetti. No sauce, no sauce, too soft. They're salty, they're shooting like curry. Oh, that's a, I wonder if that's a basketball reference. Stephen Curry. Oh, I was thinking curry like Indian food. And yeah, I was thinking that maybe. would be, yeah. that would be It could good. be both. It's probably, it could be both. You know? Well, and then I started thinking, let's have that tomorrow. <laughs> I can make some of that tomorrow. That sounds good. One hand on my holster, then pass it to Hova. Hova is Jay Z's uh, nickname. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that's sweet. 
Thought it was sweet when they was walking in the back door of the kitchen past the dirty dishes. Now we're on a mission. Try to turn me to the opposition. I'm appalled about the proposition. Y'all been played by the plagiaristic. Ain't gonna give no cloud addiction. My so attention. the people who are imitating her? Maybe. I don't know. I ain't no regular. I love this though. I ain't no regular singer. Now come get everything you came for. I love like you. <laughs> that shit. Like I get to be so excited because you know this early line at the snap of my fing fingers. I'm Thanos. Yes. Which is a you know easy reference. But I feel like it ties into this. I ain't no regular. Thanos is no regular vin villain. She's no regular singer. And so it feels like a tie into, no, I am like the top. Mm -hmm. I am the top. Mm -hmm. So yeah, come get me if you think you can take me down. Yeah. Like that was a great yeah. track. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, fantastic. Fantastic. Okay. What was your thing? I'm sorry. Go ahead. Did you forget it? You were, you were going to go on some art history rant or I something. I was going to go on an art history rant. <laughs> oh, um, it was something about the rules. Where's the line about the rules? Go down the bottom. Uh, keep the code, break the keep rules. Keep the code, break the rules. Yeah. There's um, some of the really best artists like um, Picasso. Mm -hmm. He's not my favorite, that, but that's just a, a personal preference thing. Um, one of the reasons why they are so good is because they know the rules. Mm -hmm. And so because they know the rules so well, um, Picasso at 13 could paint better than his uh, master. And uh, what? I'm just, I'm just listening to you. <laughs> I'm listening to you enjoy art history because you enjoy art history. <laughs> so because they know the rules so well, they know which ones can be stretched and which ones can be broken without undermining the inherent awesomeness yeah. of whatever it is that they're doing. Um, keeping balance and um, just the beauty of the initial craft. And that's something that she can do, obviously, by looking at this album. It's not strictly country. It's not strictly hip hop rap whatever but so far oh my goodness we're only on track 12 yeah oh that's so, why i kind of keep nudging you like oh we should move on <laughs> no no it's it's fine no it's gonna be <laughs> like a long, the epitome a long video. of long format yeah. um but because she is so good she can stretch things this way and that and it's still incredible and beautiful and uh goes together the words are not well, I think with what In you're talking head. about, too, I think there's probably something to say of Beyonce when she was young. She probably listened to a lot of country music. Yeah. So there's probably a fire in her heart of who are you to tell me what country is when I grew up? I'm assuming. I don't know if this is true. But if she grew up listening to country and now she's one of the best singers out there, huge artist, extremely successful. And now people are telling her she can't do country. Uh, mm -hmm. No. Well, I, I can do that, actually. For her, music is such a malleable thing, and she knows how to stretch it and bend it and still make it beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. And she's incredible with it. And so she does have that flexibility that some artists don't have because she is so... She, under, she seems to understand... She's, she understands she's more rules. gooder at it. She's more gooder at it. <laughs> Let's She's move just on. plain and simple. <laughs> more goodlier. She's more. <laughs> Track thirteen is called "Alligator Tears," so maybe, maybe she'll uh, after spitting all that fire, maybe she'll pretend to apologize for it. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Track but, thirteen. What? Go ahead. I have another story. Oh. We're gonna have to make this like a two-parter, huh? No, I finished my coffee, <laughs> so this should be a plateau. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Track thirteen. This is a cool sounding album, man. I can tell because... No, it's just cool, man. Your foot's bouncing. Oh, it's been bouncing all the time. I know. <laughs> like I'm on a trampoline. <laughs> Maybe you are. Yes, Her. No. Got to add it to the 
claps or something, huh? A little bit more. I love it when they layer the vocals like this. What do you think about that? Adoring the alligator tears. What do you think about that? That's kind of surprising to me. I don't really know what to make of it. And I think, I immediately think I'm overthinking it. But it's a surprising thing to say, in my opinion. You know, I, I can see these this chorus, right? Move the mountain, I throw my boots, stop the river, build the dam, you know, change religion, all this stuff. All this Is stuff. she being sarcastic? I don't know. I I don't know, but it is peculiar to me that or she's saying that's cute. Like I appreciate that. That's that's sweet. That's cute. What's cute? I can't imagine she's being condescending. No, it doesn't seem to be that way. You let's click on the annotation. Crocodile tears, alligator tears is an idiom that means false tears. Yes, usually for attention or sympathy. Yes. Adding on, alligators are indigenous to North America, like crocodiles. Okay. Alligators are heavily present in Louisiana. Okay. Okay. Okay, so there's not a whole lot there. But it's just, of all the characteristics that a person could have in being attracted and drawn to a person, you know, to focus on alligator tears. Well, it could be like the whole love-hate relationship, like I, you know, like I do with that dumb book. Um, <laughs> that dumb book. <laughs> <laughs> the whole like <laughs> this stupid. You understand book. what I mean? Uh, no, I know it's great. Oh, I hate loving this stupid book. <laughs> but that could be the same thing. She could be like hating these alligator tears as people saying, um you have to do this, you have to do this. And so she does and she does it. And then, you know, they get angry. Blah, blah, yeah, you I know, was kind of thinking the same thing. Like, it, I wonder if it's more of a, a alluding to the industry or fans or something yeah, like that. Yeah, that's what that. I mean. The whole yeah. love-hate relationship with that. Um, I don't know. That, I don't want to say symbiotic relationship because that's not what it is. But that sort of thing. I wonder if that's what she's alluding to. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Cool song. Sounds great. Love the vocal. I mean, yeah. uh, uh, so far, I don't think there's this. The only song I've kind of been eh on was Bodyguard. This is one of those songs where I feel like um, sometimes people will say, just listen to the song. Stop analyzing it. And that sort of thing. Yeah. And I think this is one of those songs where I will have really enjoy just listening to it. Later. But, well, yeah. Well, let's let's keep moving here. Okay. We've got more work to put in. Smoke Hour 2 is another interlude with Willie Nelson. And then it drops into Just for Fun, which has Willie Nelson. So we'll play through this little interlude. interlude and then we got a track with uh, Beyonce. Well, it says Willie Nelson here on Spotify, but it doesn't have it here. Oh, he's in the... Willie, Willie Jones? Maybe that's his real name? I have no idea. I have no idea either. Let's move in to 14, Smoke Hour 2, and then we'll drop into 15 just for fun. Sometimes you don't know what you like until someone you trust turns you on to some real good shit. <laughs> and that, ladies and gentlemen, is why I'm here. Up next on the Smoke Hour is Just for Fun by Beyonce. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Going all out just for fun. I am the man, I know it. And everywhere I go, they know my name. So I laugh and I lie, and the coyotes cry, and the time moves quickly, and so do I, so do I. 
Love it. I'll say my goodbye. Love it. Cause time heals everything. She has such an incredible range. She yeah. This is great. <laughs> this is insanely good. Oh my god, man. I'm going down south just for fun. I am the man I know. And everywhere I go, I hide my face. But time heals everything I This might be my favorite. So far. Yeah. <laughs> you are a sucker for the claps, aren't you? Oh, it's just so good, man. I love how she builds on it. Yeah, that was fantastic. Yeah. I felt like I was swimming in that. Yeah. Oh, like there was a couple songs earlier. I was like, oh, it would have been nice to have the headphones on for this, you know, to really, because mm -hmm. when I do it on my own, I yeah. just kind of, yeah. that one would have just, oh man, I would have just been swimming. Mm -hmm. That sound was so amazing, so rich. Mm -hmm. Oh, and I, like you were saying, that lower range that she's in, oh man. Mm -hmm. and, and she sings that uh, she has the harmony, not harmony, the melody that she's singing. And then she goes back and then she has the lower register that is just slightly there. And so it is that little bit of thunder that she's making herself. Yeah, yeah. And I love the like you were talking about the patience that she has, mm -hmm. the restraint that's given on this song makes um, with the production makes it that much more powerful. Well, and the lyrics are pretty damn good too, man. Yes. Hope and I'll fall fast asleep tonight. I just need to get through this. Born in the darkness, who brings the light? Just need to get through this, or I just get used to it. You know what I like too is that line. This one? No, up uh, from the Cowboys and Clovis, uh. because. Um, the cow Cowboys and Clovis, Clovis in California is in the Valley. So those guys who do that thing are, are really good, but, um, they're not the Cowboys in the mountains who are actually dealing with the cows necessarily. <laughs> so you're going to get Cowboy snobby. On I am going to get Cowboy snobby. <laughs> so from the Cowboys and Clovis and the rodeo circus. And that's the only reason why I said that is because it's, and it's, it's linking the circus with, I mean, those, I, I can't do any of that. And the stuff that they do is impressive. But um, they're not necessarily on the trail. So, yeah, I'm getting snobby. I love the line after. Even though I don't do it myself. I came here for a reason, but I don't know the purpose. It's all under the surface. Mm -hmm. So she can't remember? Well, no. I just, I like the feeling that that invokes this idea of, because I've had that a lot, of this idea of, I'm supposed to do something. I'm supposed to go like just having just having this feeling of there's still something for me. I do that every time I go to the garage. I forget what I go there for and then I stand there and I have to make myself wait until I remember why I went to the garage. That's that's either being drunk or being old or both, which is something we suffer from <laughs> junk and old in garage uh oh let's get mom back to bed <laughs> she's junking in the garage unfortunately again. mostly it's being old <laughs> <laughs> that was a cool yeah. cool song i really like that one a lot just for fun i gotta remember that okay track 16 has miley cyrus oh this will be fun 
Two most, it's called most, well, I guess two most wanted, huh? But yeah, Beyonce, Sean Everett, Michael Pollock, Miley Cyrus, dropping in. Track 16, two most wanted. Oh, we finally got the twang. Finally. <laughs> it took 16 songs, but we finally got the twang. Are you waiting for some twang? Oh, I was waiting for it, and I was kind of like, no jump in the gun, but we're both still young. One day we won't be. Huh. Didn't know what I want till I saw your face. Say goodbye to the old me. Came out and knew it, didn't give no warning. Pedal so heavy like a tumor uh -huh. was it and I don't know what you're doing tonight, but I. I'll be a shotgun rider till uh -huh. the day I die. Smoke out the window flying down the 405. I'll be a backseat baby driving you crazy anytime you like. Whoa, I'll be your shotgun rider. This is cool. Yeah. Very cool. The 405 in LA. Yeah. yeah. This is a good song too, man. <laughs> Sounds like Stevie Nicks. Miley Cyrus Fleetwood Mac. I find that one very moving. That honestly. was, yeah. I I like how I have no idea if they're friends in real life, but I like how when they sing together, yeah. they seem to um, put out the person two different personalities the way they sing, and I have no idea if this corresponds to how they are. But Miley Cyrus stayed kind of even and level. And maybe it was to showcase because this is Beyonce's album, but Beyonce yeah. was the one yeah, who was yeah, going, yeah, yeah. with the exception of in this last chorus at the end, um, Miley Cyrus did just a little bit more of the fluctuation, but then immediately went back to Beyonce. But that was, again, I don't know, it it mimicked a sort of friendship relationship. Well, it's just good that singing. went along with it. Good, I, I know. I mean, good working so together and balance. Yeah. You know. It, I think what is to me I find so touching about that song is like on the surface it's it's simple there's mm -hmm. not a whole lot being mm -hmm. said but I think in in action it's a, this is a great example of show don't tell right and so it's a love song yes but it's not all lovey lovey and I love you and oh, oh it's not I'm not being told over and over and over again and I've mentioned before on different reactions of the more someone tells me, tries to convince me of something, the less I believe them. Well, it's easier to tune out because well, no, there's no, not, nothing no, no, to no, think no, about. No, it's not about that. It's just I feel like the person's trying to trick me. If they keep oh, telling me over, oh, I'm this thing, oh. I'm this thing. I start, if you're putting so much emphasis on it, mm -hmm. I start to not believe it. Because if it were true, you wouldn't be so worried about me believing it. And right. so this isn't some song of, oh, I love you so much. and I'm. It's just... I'm being shown these two people. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to cry. They're just riding together. <laughs> and that's it. And it's so silly like to cry over that, but oh. it it's 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 so simple and so pure and so well displayed. Like I I don't know, like I don't even feel like I can justify it just because it's deceiving. Like I feel like there are plenty of people who will probably listen to the song and go, "Okay, yeah, they just they're driving their car together and ride till I die," you know, because that phrase gets used a lot too. Well, but. it's okay. So what I'm understanding, yeah, it's the um, the equivalent of in a friendship, 
something happening and looking over and locking eyes and being able to read the other person's mind and smiling. Yeah. And so having this conversation without actually saying the words that are being said. Kind of, but also it's just, it's two people together. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Yeah. And that's how simple it is, you know, and it's beautiful. And the singing's fantastic and doing this out the window, Mm -hmm. you know, I just, it's, it's I mean, you can't do that on the 405 because you're not moving. (laughs) But it's a nice thought. Maybe it's a windy day. Oh, Jesus. I heard if it's like early in the morning or something. <laughs> yeah, like 3, 2 a.m. You could do it then. Uh, no, I, that was a beautiful song. Yeah. Beautiful song. Yeah. Man, this is impressive so far. I'm going to have to make more coffee. <laughs> it's no, a good I'm thing just... we started what we did because we're barely going to be finished <laughs> by noon at this rate. Uh, let's move on to track whatever. 17, Levi's Jeans. Produced by Beyonce and The Dream. Mm, and that sounds familiar? Maybe not. Oh, they wrote, he wrote this, they wrote, she wrote, whatever, wrote the the single ladies. That's a Beyonce song. Oh, very, very. I don't know that one. You don't know that one? Mm-mm. Oh my goodness, you guys. I'm it's sorry. got Post Malone as well. I don't think I've ever listened to Post Malone. If you heard the single ladies, you would know it. Okay. Because I know it and I actually know the name of it. Yeah. Well, yeah. There you go. Yeah. That's saying something right there. (laughs) All right, here we go. Track 17, Levi's Jeans. Different sound. How you doing over there? I'm fine. (laughs) I have a beard to catch my tears. <laughs> That's great. Snap a picture, bring it on. Oh, you wish you were my Levi jeans. Way is popping out your phone. Every time I see you, I just want to grab you. And I'll let you touch you, and you can't let it go. Smoke out your palate, caramel, oh, I had to fool. it up above let's see way it's popping out your phone to how if you have a bigger butt especially with women's oh. jeans your phone often won't fit in the pocket oh oh okay well there, there you go does that answer your question okay This is part two of Renaissance. Yeah, this is the second album. Well, the first album was called Renaissance. Um, and this is supposed to be in conjunction with that? It's. I don't know if the trilogy itself is also called Renaissance. I don't know. But it, it's a trilogy album set. Mm-hmm. The first one was Renaissance. This is Cowboy Carter part two. 
She's made this sort of reference before. I think it was it in Lemonade. I don't know. She's made this, and I really, I like this reference of the guy being her pants, whatever kind of pants they are. <laughs> um, Levi's, Levi's jeans. I know, but in in the last <laughs> album, I think she made a similar sort of reference. Did she? Yeah. I don't remember. I haven't put on Renaissance. And I haven't heard, I'm, she's the only one I've heard of, is it Renaissance? So then it must have been Lemonade that she made that reference. I don't know. Anyways, I find it humorous. That was, and that I was, haven't heard it before. That was a good song. It was entertaining. I it was, like that it one. was, you know, fun, happy. Fun and happy and, and slinky. So, and some and, funny lines in there. <laughs> and uh, she made a little bit of reference of um, playing the little uh, damsel in distress like she talked about before. Mm. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. That was cool. That was fun. That was fun. Huh. Give you high fashion, a simple white tee. Give you those blues. It's in my jeans. That's the best thing to wear is just a white t-shirt. And nothing else. No. Aww. Levi's jeans. Aww. And nothing else. <laughs> <laughs> uh, track 18 is called Flamenco, I suppose. Like the dance. Is that a dance? That's a dance. Oh, okay. Yeah. I did not know. It is. That's strange, given my incredible depth of knowledge with dancing and everything about he dancing. He is the best dancer, you guys. I'm, it's some, some would say I'm so good at dancing, it's as if I've never danced at all. It's when, like horseshoe theory in action there. When, yeah, he's got to be inebriated. <laughs> That's just stumbling around. On my way to the garage to so, forget why I went there. The best, no, no, no. The best time I've ever seen him dance was oh, at. <laughs> is this the uh, the Macarena? The fr- <laughs> a friend of ours got married, and he was about a foot taller than everybody, yeah. and in the middle of the dance floor, and they put on the Macarena. Mm-hmm. And this is a guy that <laughs> he'd known for like long time. This is Bryce's wedding, right? This is Bryce's yeah. wedding, and um. <laughs> he's standing in the middle doing very well and he's doing all the moves but everybody is going clockwise going. as you do with the macarena and he is going counterclockwise it was like he was the middle of a wheel mm-hmm. and and he's laughing the entire song he never he just get we turn and he'd go like this and then he'd turn the other way and oh, I just I go so my good. own way, you know. I you can't tell me which way to turn when it's Macarena time. I'll go wherever the fuck I want. <laughs> <laughs> You're so cute. <laughs> okay, oh, so geez. anyways, flamenco is a dance. Okay. All right, well let's drop in track eight. I don't know how to do it, but it's right. a dance. That's all right, that's all right. Okay. My mind has been telling me to settle. Ones have been telling me they won't be around. They won't be around. For the new change in music? I don't know. I hope that you know that once I loved you. I wish that I know you let me wonder. I hope that you know once it's over. And say what you love, so hold me closer. That song is incredible too, man. Yeah. That was incredible. You know, it might sound a little dumb, but it makes me think of Invincible a little bit. She's had it. She's had a couple little hints at more or less acknowledging time. Yeah. Time is coming. You're like I'm running out of time. Well, their kids thing. are getting older, and so that's got to be, that's got to be hitting, that they're growing up too. Yeah. And I know she hasn't talked about her kids at all, but well, no, but yeah, you just see it. That's the one thing. You're like that's what's interesting about aging. Like we don't necessarily feel that much older, but then we look over there and go, right? Oh, and time's going by. At the it's certainly going by. At the Super Bowl, 
what's his name? Jay Z. Yeah. He brought two of their kids, and they are. They're at the age where there's change a lot, and um, especially in maybe moving away a little bit from their parents, and so that's going to be a lot more apparent. <laughs> sorry, that wasn't purposeful. Uh, <laughs> I just strolled right into yeah, it. Yeah, sorry. Uh. So anyways, I don't know if this is supposed to be like a dance with her fans who were concerned about her going to a country. And um, that's why it's flamenco, and you've got the, if I remember right, the um, clapping is part of the dance, mm-hmm. and the um, guitar reminding me a little bit, and I might be totally off. Which, by the way, I'm going to go sideways, and I really like when they play the guitar acoustically, and when they slide their fingers, you'll hear and that you hear little it, yeah. bit of, yeah, 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 I really like that. You know, I wonder if it's just, if it's more abstract, if it's kind of the dance of life and how life dances and you go here and you go there and you move. I and, like that better. But the the dance always comes to an end. Mm-hmm. Hmm. And so, you know, this, my mind has been telling me to settle right on down, right down. They won't be around. Day one's been telling me they won't be around. I know there's just this, there's a little bit of just trying to stay calm, but feeling a little anxious for whatever reason, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah, the inhale and exhale mm-hmm. my breath. Yeah, beautiful song. I mean, for a minute and 40 seconds, what a great song. Yeah. Let's keep going. <clears throat> so we got a little interlude here. This is the Linda Martell. So I was, remember before I, I clicked on this link, uh, mm-hmm. she's got this album is from the 70s here. Color Me Country is the name of the album. I've never heard it, but 1970 is the release date. So I'm assuming Beyonce was a fan of her or listened to her or, or something to that effect. But uh, let's jump in. It sounds like, you know, much like Willie Nelson was brought on to do some little little bits. Well, and she's talking about this tune is across a range of genres, which is what Beyonce is mm-hmm. doing. It's called Yeah, Yeah. So that, we'll let it roll right into the next track, which is Yeah, Yeah. Uh, okay, so here we go. Here's the... Is Linda. Yaya, is that a cover then? I have no idea. No. Okay, it's yeah. just her own. Yeah. Okay. Okay, here we go. Here's a little interlude and then we'll jump into track 20, which is Yaya. Yeah. Oh, that sounds like these boots were made for walking. Hello, girl. A little bit. Hello, Beyonce. Maybe she wrote that. She might have wrote that Those petty ones came the boots with me to walk yeah. out. Cause I'm a clever girl. We clapping. We drumming. Oh yeah. Oh wow. A lot of red in that white. Oh, <laughs> I forget what that song is. I know that one though. Oh yeah, good vibration. Beach Boys, yeah. Yeah. Fuck it. We shake it. Got your spurs sparking. I like that. Uh-huh. And while she says that, it's got the, the, the sample from this movie yeah. in the background. <laughs> this is cool, 
around. rolls right into old Louisiana here, which is like 55 seconds. Huh. So what'd you think of Yaya? It was cool. I was cool with that. I'm enjoying the country aspect a lot more though, honestly. I mean, I don't have a problem with this song, but when it comes to the ones that I've enjoyed the most, it's been the ones that are, you know, basically like heavy country style, mm -hmm. essentially. Mm -hmm. But it's cool to have something in here that, you know, a little bit more up energy, get going, have fun. You know, it's, it's, it is good to have a mix. And even in this, even in this song, there's kind of a mix, you know, it's. Are you tired working time and a half for half the pay? And I pray we don't crash. Keep a Bible on the dash. Got to have faith. Wild Hog burns his house down. Insurance ain't going to pay Fannie Mae. Yeah, so was this a call to get people to vote? Uh, no, I don't. I don't get that from this. It's just more of, you know, acknowledging the stress and the strain of life. So hold this holster, pour more liquor. Hard work, man, ain't got no money in the bank. Turn up the vinyl on the radio. And then I like how it essentially goes from there into a course and just, you know. Yeah, just say forget it. We're just, just live. Gonna, just yeah. live. Live. You can't, I mean, you get all buried in those concerns. And like, I don't want to hear all this. I got you, Deidre. I mean, yeah. Live, live your, and, live live your and life. love. Basically, live and love. And then at the end, the only reason why I say that is it's talking about the beginning. Life is hard. Life is hard. Life is hard. Okay. So let's just relax and just say, forget it. And just yeah. let some steam off and then come back down. Take care of reality. Take care of yourself. Take some responsibility. And then, um, you know, we're doing okay. We're handling it. We've handling these problems. And then she says something about keep the faith, stay level and vote. And that's why I was wondering. Oh, that, vote. Vote. Oh, well. That's okay. why I was wondering. No, I, I mean, whatever. That was just. I didn't even notice that. You didn't? <laughs> no. because It was so punctuated. It was a period at the end of the sentence uh, on recognizing, acknowledging life. And that's why I was wondering if it was, I don't know. I was, I was probably distracted because I was looking over to see how it was going to conclude and pause, trying to pause between the two or whatever. Mm -hmm. And then it just rolled right into, oh, Louisiana. Mm-hmm. Huh. We like the idea. Yeah, vote, but, uh... And I noticed that... I don't have that, anybody to vote for. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. We're not going to start on that one because yeah. this will turn into like a five-hour video. Yeah. Um, and I recognize that she's not spelling Beyonce with an O, but... Yeah, I, I noticed that. I wonder what that's about. Why I, I kind of don't really care. Beyonce's mother, Tina Knowles, maiden name was originally... Oh, Beyonce. Oh, Okay. Oh, oh, an error by the hospital staff spelled Beyonce. Okay, well, there you go. Now we know. That was the original spelling of the name. Huh. You learn something every day, don't you? Mm. Every dog earned day. Let's move on to Desert Eagle, which is track 22. We're actually somehow approaching the end of the album, if you can believe it or not. Not really. We're actually, honestly, we're doing okay. Usually I take the runtime of an album and double it. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, an hour 20 would be two hours and 40. And we're at two hours and 15. So we're, eh, we're kind of on pace. 
And it makes sense we'd run a little longer since there's two of us yapping along. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, here we go. Here's 22, Desert Eagle. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Funk. Do you know how to do si -do? I'm going to say yes. Yes, I do. So I don't need to be reminded or shown or anything. I don't. You can teach me. Trippy. Want to just roll on a river dance? Yep. Okay. Oh, she's doing all dance. kinds of crap now. Dance. We definitely have some. Dance. We've got flamenco. Dance. We've got the do si do. Dance. We've got river dance now. Dance. The last one was talking about all dance. sorts of different dances too. Dance. Bounce on the shit. Like. Dance. Dance. Bounce on the shit. Dance. Huh. Dance. Bounce on the shit. Dance. Dance. Bounce on the shit. No hands. Huh. We've definitely taken a turn from the country sound. It brought me back to life, but never brought back to life. He was my mess, my ball of string I would give him everything My thunderstorm and second chances Bounce on that shit, dang, dance Bounce on that shit, dang, dance Bounce on that shit, dang, dance Bounce on that shit, no hands Hold up, pause. I just want to click this. What is this supposed to be? River dance. In the river Irish. dance, you bounce a whole bunch and you kick your feet and your mm -hmm. hands stay mostly by your side. Okay. And it is very jumpy, bouncy. So this is, that very much describes... And that, the music, that I was aware of, but what is that? How does that translate into the meaning of the song? Like, I don't, I'm, I'm not connecting this. You don't think it's about sex? Well, I do think it's about sex, but I was wondering if it might be something else. Because these verses are pretty You can pretty bounce, quick. you can bounce on to that relationship, bounce from one relationship to another and just, just dance, just fake your way through it. How about that? He shot me down. I That's died. the first Someone relationship. Back to, well, hold, hold on, hold on. Staring down the barrel of my gun, I shot you down. So she bounced onto a next one. He cried the day he realized lies were hidden in my kisses. Mm -hmm. Tangled in my arms, he was my mess, my ball of strings. Back to the first one or a third one. Which is like a rebound to her. Yep. I would give well, everything. she's on oh, no, to my a third relationship. Second chances. Yes. So maybe she it is the first one. She was giving him right. Yeah. So bouncing. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's keep rolling. I don't know the running through the river, unless you're talking about the river of life and time. But we must make amends. Arrest me and read me my rights. I plan to steal your heart again on Saturday and Sunday night. Wrap me around your little finger. Wrap me around your wedding ring. Your words dictate the shape my body makes, and that's the scary thing. I feel like it's just it's kind of like I was saying before, the dance of life, or but this is like the dance of a relationship. You know, it just it just goes. Huh. And no hands being uh, not careless, but a lack of control. Maybe, but like. I was thinking, I wonder if Beyonce being so musically inclined, mm -hmm. if she if she views like certain events in life in like a musical format almost. 
So if she looks at a relationship and goes, wow, this is just like a dance. This is just like a musical movement. These things that we do, we go back and forth, back and forth, like we're dancing. It's like mm -hmm. this emotional dance type of a thing. Because really, that's the only thing I can kind of get from that. Like, it, it's certainly presented that way. Mm -hmm. I mean, the, it, the one thing I pick up on is the beat never slows down. You know, it, these things just kind of keep going. They just keep going. And it's, yeah. I was looking at, if you scroll up, I'll scroll up. Where is it? Where is it? I do this all the time. Oh, there was that thing. I think I, I skipped it. it. <laughs> yeah, I did skip it. It's with the ring. Yeah, there was like verse. Right there it there is. Five, yeah. Wrap me around your little finger. Wrap me around your wedding ring. So take the shape my body makes. I don't understand that. Yeah. And I don't want to click it. <laughs> I'll click it. <laughs> don't give in. Your words dictate. Oh, so this, this is maybe the lyric is written incorrectly. Your words dictate the shape my body makes. That's oh, so okay. probably not saying they take dictate the shape. Okay. That makes more sense. Yeah. 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 I think really it's just river dance. It's, it's incorporating a certain style, obviously of sound into the production, you know, it, cause it definitely did have that like Irish style of yeah. sound in the and guitar. Is, it, it is quick. They don't, from the little that I know, um, when they're dancing, there isn't an ebb and flow. Yeah, and so I think it's just, I think really... It just keeps going. She's, like just, it's presenting, consistent. she's just presenting the relationship like that. It's just like it just this, goes. this going dance. It's going, going, going. Mm -hmm. And maybe maybe part of the element that we're missing is maybe the idea is it, it's, it's always so fast. Like it's maybe maybe what she's trying to uh, invoke is how rapid it seems like their lives are are going, or just consistent, because this wasn't a fast song. Like it had a, a quicker beat, but it was softer. Uh, you know I, what I mean? Yeah, but it's pretty quick in tempo, and it never lets up. That's that's what I'm talking about. Um, we're saying the same thing. Yeah, I don't know how you're using different words than what I'm saying. But uh, yeah, I, I that's feel what like I mean by consistent. Yeah, but I don't. When I when you say consistent, mm -hmm. I don't think of something. I'm saying relentless, and to me, those are two very different things. Something that's consistent doesn't feel out of control and wild. Relentless feels like it's something that's just constantly on top of me. I can't. It's beating on me. Relentless. Yeah, and I wouldn't say that it's malicious. Like relentless connotates. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I noticed your little shoulder wiggle there. <laughs> Delayed response. No, I, I think. Yeah, it's just man. It just keeps going, keeps going, keeps going, keeps going. It doesn't slow down. It it reminds me of. There's so many things I'm talking about today that I don't do myself, but, um, like if you're riding a bike and your hands are off the handles handlebars mm. and so you're going and you're going with it um you don't have complete control but there's some semblance of it and you just keep it steady and it'll keep going that's what i oh, had I, I like that analogy that's pretty good that's the vision that i had in my mind when she was singing this as far as bouncing and continuing to move through a river because a river doesn't stop but your hands are off and so you're just going along yeah, with it yeah. and you're not fighting it. And there's, it just goes, there's no, not really stopping, but you're also not trying to stop. And so you just kind of go with the river. Like when you're yeah. on your bike. With now, the, now we are saying the same thing. Oh, look at us growing. <laughs> growing. <laughs> Maturing. Uh, track 24 is called two hands to heaven. Uh, Soundwave's on here, Jack Rowe. Who's Soundwave? Yeah. He's one of the producers. Okay. <laughs> here we go, Jack Rowe. <laughs> Four. <laughs> Interesting conclusion to the album. Does she change? 
change the alcohol she talks to depending on the music genre. Ah, cool sound here. right into a track called Tyrant. Huh. What do you think about that one? I don't know. I mean, I like the beat. For some reason, though, I'm not like totally... I think what's happening with me right now is, you know, we're aware of... Jay-Z cheating on her and Lemonade and all that, you know, we're aware of that. We have very general knowledge. Okay. And I remember earlier I was talking about the more someone tries to tell me something, the more I feel like they're trying to convince me of something, the more I start to distrust them. Mm -hmm. And so I think I'm running into my own personal bias here of, you know, Beyonce is really hitting this idea of you and I, and we, we love each other so much, and we're together, and it's us forever, and nothing can stop, you know, on and on and on. I'm certainly like... Well, you could go for that, or you could go for the other side of her relationship with music, or her relationship with her fans, because at the beginning, she's talking about wearing all these really nice things, but in relatively garish colors, and um, accepting both whatever whatever way you um, are presenting yourself to be accepting of both and it's fine and, and whatever. Um, so you could go that route or you could go just everybody chill out. I route. think, well, I think really my hope is that this is all at least true. Um, one thing I do get um, an impression of from Beyonce is she seems to be a pretty uh, spiritual, emotional mm -hmm. person. And so 
probably what's happening is she just has very, very strong feelings and she's very good at expressing those feelings mm-hmm. where I'm not like that. I'm more of a cold, dead robot. <laughs> <laughs> not really. <laughs> and so, so maybe that's part of it, you know? I mean, and changing what she needs to be like um, water and what wasn't probably said like water to wine. Um, well, and I only say that because she was talking about wine before and it's very easy to slip that in there. I, I don't really understand though. What, what, what do you mean? Changing water to wine and she's talking about uh, oh wonder whatever whatever's fine just going with the flow yeah whatever needs to be this one this line stood out to me and in these dark times i'm so glad that this love is blinding and probably i would i would go back to yeah yeah you know the song where life is hard and this and that but Mm -hmm. you know just dance and, and don't i think maybe my cynical side wants to go somewhere else, but really she's probably just saying, you know, yeah, there's a lot of terrible things happening in the world, but I'm going to focus on the love that's in my life. Right. You know? Focus on the music. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You bring out the best of me. All I see is everything, your goals, your glow. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it, and it could be both with the, the, Jay-Z, the Jay-Z thing. I just don't like thinking about the Jay Z thing is there. That's great, but she doesn't seem like someone who's super repetitive, and so I don't think like she'd really hammer that in. I think this one is more about um, music, and so that's why I'm I'm thinking it's more of the music side of things. You know, I was going to disagree with you because you say, "Oh no, lose us in these sheets," but music is written on sheets, so yeah, maybe, maybe. You feel like you partied in Venus. Woke up in Mars. Yeah. I don't know. Venus uh, is cool supposed song. to be. I think I'm. I'm going to settle on the idea that I'm overthinking it. <laughs> I'm just going to let it go. It's okay. Don't have to solve every riddle. That's not a riddle, you know. <sighs> we got to keep going no, though, because my fine. back is starting to hurt. Oh. I'm sitting all funky in I think this chair. I'm old going to the garage. And not remembering what I wanted. Mm-hmm. I do think you're old going to the garage. Not re- <laughs> 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 All right. There's three more songs. I, I think it's safe to say we've moved out of the country element and we're now. Don't you know, say that because this is Dolly Parton. Oh, that's true. Yeah. That's true. Okay. Well, this one's called Tyrant, which is following right up after Two Hands to Heaven and a lot of uh, very loving words being uh, expressed. So now we'll see what happens with the uh, tyrant. Here we go. Cowboy Carter, time to strike a match and light up this juke joint. One, one, one by one, you hang them high, your hands are steady and you're sleeping Oh, high. wow. They sound great How did you turn yeah. your heart to stone? Wow. I don't
What's the deal with the hangman, though? She wants the hangman, Jay-Z's ex-mistress, to tell her something. But this is an unreviewed annotation. Let's just read it, I suppose. The first few lines, Beyonce says she wants the hangman, who apparently this yeah, is Jay-Z's ex-mistress, to tell her something that does not specify what she wants to be taught. Finish the sentence reveals she wants him to teach her how to deal with the pain of being cheated on and how not to cry as she gets to live her life unaffected by trying to steal Beyonce's man. I think it was a little bit much. Maybe, yeah, I don't know. I mean, sometimes these annotations, these notes, I, I there was something I don't even remember what it was. I mean, I reach pretty far. Well, but I don't. I've you every now and then you see it. People get really, really into the lyrics. It came up recently a couple of weeks ago. Uh, the diss track with. Kendrick mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and people are like analyzing it, analyzing it. and it kept, every now and then it'll come up and I've seen this like it's basically a meme but it's all oh wow that's really cool did so and so even know they meant that too right. <laughs> you know like we we put all this meaning yeah. into stuff and it's like oh yeah does the artist know that they meant right. that anyway alright well let's finish the song I was just kind of the hangman part is really throwing me off a bit but whatever I think part of it too is We've been doing this for two hours and 45 minutes. I'm kind of getting tired. Yeah. I mean, you could say the hangman is just another She's got way the woe of... there. Hangman got the woe there. Don't I think you don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Answer me now. You owe me a debt. You stole him from me. So that's very... It's possible. I hated you once. I envy you now. Just tell me how. Tell me how. Your hands are steady at, at sleep and you sleep at night. How did you turn your heart to stone? Basically, here's where I am. This has been run over a bunch. And it's a decent story for... It's a regular story for a country album. Hide your man when the hangman come into town. Yeah. Eh, so that, that annotation might be on to something. I, I, okay. I, I think there's some validity there. Okay. Yeah, great. It's just a, a story that's been told before. Yeah, sure. But I, I, I like the the way she's using Tyrant and stuff. This is, it's entertaining. We should, we should look and see if there's a music video for this. For research purposes. <laughs> you wouldn't have him laughing. All right, let's finish this one up. Is that a fiddle that's being played? Yeah. I don't know the difference between a fiddle and a violin. I don't either. But yeah. Oh, so crying. Maybe, yeah. Play oh, oh, you're yeah. Clean, your little minutes or whatever the, the phrase is. <laughs> right, like, like, I don't know why, but that like. I like, yeah. <laughs> I like the crossover. <laughs> Well, I just think of the cars with the hydraulics yeah, yeah, slamming yeah. on the ground. <laughs> like, goddamn. <laughs> I'm really enjoying the crossover between L.A. and Cowboys. It's been, it's been entertaining to have those uh, mixed um, Tyrant's cool. Metaphors. Hands, hands, two hands of heaven was good too. Not metaphors. What am I? What am I trying to say? I don't know the term. We're both we're both about done. Oh, Pharrell Williams. Nice. Okay. He's oh good. yay! He's good I producer. like him. Two more songs, and we're we're running out of steam, y'all. So we're kind of we can do it. And I ran out of coffee. Yeah, we're running out of steam. So if it, are if you it, out of soda? No, I'm. It, it's fine. I'm just saying. Basically, what I'm saying is. We can it, do this. If it seems like we're not enjoying it as much, it's not so much the album. It's just, you know, we, we're, no. we're coming up on three hours. We're powering through. Yeah, we're kind of at the powering through stage. I like how on this, uh, the title for this song, they have those stars in there, and it reminds me of the way sometimes they write barbecue sauce on yeah, the bottles, right. and yeah. they've got little stars or funny things. This looks like a, a barbecue sauce label. Sweet honey bucking. Yep. That's a good barbecue sauce name. Yeah, that would be a good barbecue sauce. All right, here's track 26. Sweet honey bucket. To pieces just like barbecue. Good one. <laughs> What's Why going on this, in the background? I don't know, but this sounds familiar. Yes. Oh, 
Patsy oh, from Clyde. Patsy Klein. Right. Okay. <laughs> so, if you're corn fed, that's how you get fat. Oh, and so you want to like add fat to your beef. Um, if it's grass fed, then they're more lean. So this booty is corn fed, which means it has a little bit more oh, has a little bit great. more girth. That shit's great. That's awesome. <laughs> I love it. You know, I'm coming home. I wonder if, if, if that's, if she's talking about country music, maybe. She's got, she's referencing a lot of older. Super muted and synthetic and stuff. That sound. Yeah. It's a guitar stroke. But they just it's not a bass? No, I don't think so. by them. that shit on the chin. Come back and fuck up the pin. Like a mechanical bull. I like this. This is cool. I like this track. There's a, right here. Your patience is thin. Your hormones is right at the rim. He was just going in. Fuck it to it again. A O T Y. I ain't win. Album of the year. Oh. I ain't win. I ain't stunting about them. Take that shit on the chin. Come back and fuck up the pen. So she's still trying to get that win. That's basically what this is right here. Take that shit on the chin, which mm -hmm. I like. You know, don't whine about it. Which you, you it, it is fun. Listening to these albums, especially with Beyonce, because we don't know anything about the girl at all. Right. Well, I mean, we know like that much, right? But it's it's neat how you can slowly learn someone's characteristics, what they care about, what they stand for. You know, here by t saying just take that shit on the chin and some of the other things that she said throughout this album, you can tell Beyonce is the type of person. No. If you fall down, you get back up again and you dust off and you keep trying and you keep, you can tell she just has that in her personality, you know? Mm -hmm. It's really neat. That was a cool song. It, it, it kind of threw me off at first, especially when we dropped into the, the bucking part. I was like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> but this is a cool song. And I'm glad because I was getting a little, it was getting a little a bit of a drought here on the back half in terms of putting hearts next to songs. But I really enjoyed the lyrics that you have up here with the um, yes, this verse, the, this Bless verse Shibuzi was, was great. so yes. fun. It's yes. so playful yes. and just entertaining. Yes, we can take the back roads. I love you know, bought a Chevy, painted it red. Money's long. It can't fit in the bed. <laughs> I've got so much money. I can't even put it in the back of my truck. Yeah. You want smoke? I'm the Marlboro Man. Yeah, the yeah. very cool verse. Just saying that I'm awesome without saying that. Yeah, I'm just awesome. super, it's just super fun. 
Yeah. It's so playful and serious at the same time. Yeah. No, this is a cool track. Very cool track. And I like it just keeps changing too. And so it's neat. You're talking about the stars. It's basically three songs in one. And it's, I like the when she's saying bucking, mm -hmm. it's almost like she's saying come at me. Yeah, a little yeah, bit. Yeah, like you know you know when the um the kids in high school will like throw their head forward <laughs> and their shoulders back. They're well, like, Come at me, bro. That's what I not that It's she's a buck and bull. She can't be conquered. She's always bucking. Yes. You can't ride. But that's me. the vision that I see is yeah. saying you wanna fight. Sure, but I'll I think you I think with the context of the album, yeah, country and bull riding and horses, yeah, you, you like, you know, a, a horse that no longer bucks has been tamed, has been broken, right? right. That's what you call it. Yeah, you break the horse. Yeah, she's bucking. Yeah, I ain't broken. I'm bucking. Mm -hmm. Cool, man. Very cool track. They're just bucking, bucking. Yeah, like a mechanical bull buck. <laughs> yeah, because a mechanical bull won't stop. Yeah, yeah, and that's another you know aspect of her personality that we've kind of learned from yeah. listening to this and album. doesn't have the ability to stop either we well, just turn it off <laughs> <laughs> all right there's one more song one more song uh, <laughs> okay the last, whatever. last track is called whatever Amen. don't agree with him <laughs> there's a whole bunch of producers final song of cowboy carter Amen. Amen. <laughs> amen to amen. Here we go. Track 27. Mercy on me, baby. Have mercy on me. Mercy. Mercy. Have that almost sounds familiar. Good piano. The bass. Oh, man. Hold that to drum me, baby. Have mercy on me. We are going to need to listen to this one. Oh man, the sound is so good. Mercy on me, mercy, have mercy on me. She's done that. I wonder what. Nothing. No, okay. I was just seeing if it loops. Good little bookend in terms of the album because we opened up with American Requiem and it closes out with that too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. House was built with blood and blown. I mean, she's got to be talking about the country, right? House was built with blood and blown and it crumbled. Yes, it crumbled. The statues, they were made beautiful. Made, but they were lies of stone. Hmm. I don't know. My brain is fried. Yeah, we're all kind of fried. And there's things that I'm like, I'm frowning at. You can probably see this <laughs> has gotten even bigger. Um, because I'm going, okay, I should see this. <laughs> I should get this. Right, right, Blah, right. blah, blah. And it's be... just like, Dude. yeah. Yeah. Like, ask me what color the sky is and I'll go, I don't know. No, that's okay. No. That was a cool but, poser, though. Yeah. Well... So when she's talking about the old ideas, I feel like that should be blatantly Well, obvious. I think probably. So this annotation, it shows a picture of a uh, you know, Confederate statue with blood, with red paint on it. That's you know, all the George statues. George Washington, it says. That's not Confederate. Oh, it's George Washington. Well, didn't he own slaves too? Didn't they all own slaves? Weren't they all slave owners? The founding fathers? I don't I know. I think they all were. Probably, right? but I don't know. <clears throat> Anyway, what'd you think? That was really... That was pretty good, man. Pretty good. Uh, you know, I, initially I was like, man, I wish it would have stuck with a country theme throughout because I was really enjoying the first she did. half. No. no. Yeah. 
No. You're talking about country music? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But oh. as the album kept going and it shifted, I was like, you know, if it would have been all country the whole way through, I probably would have got bored. No, she told us from the beginning it was basically going to be her version, and we I, talked about I, it. I understand. Okay. I know. <laughs> but I was really enjoying the country song because mm. they sounded phenomenal. Mm -hmm. She did an excellent job with that. Um, so initially when it was, was, when it turned and I think it was, where was it? Levi's jeans. She even says it. It might've been Levi's jeans or one of them. One of those, maybe it was just for fun. I don't know, but she even says it like cowboy Carter part two genre breaking and we're going to go off and do all these things. It may have been just for fun. And then she went into, and then it started changing. The sounds started many, changing. Yeah. Quite a many bit. different kinds of dance yeah, and yeah, talking yeah. about different kinds of, even there was one song, I don't remember which one, excuse me. I'm so full of burps today. Um, there was one song that talked about a couple different kinds of dancing just within one. Yeah. So anyway, burps. initially I was like, oh, I want the country stuff back. But once I got used to this other sound and just not having the idea of here comes another country song, I started enjoying the back half more. She let her do her own thing. I allowed it. Yes, I did. I allowed Beyonce to explore the musical space in the room. She didn't have any cowbell, though. Where the hell was the cowbell? She did her version oh, at cowbell. the... I've got a fever. <laughs> <laughs> no, there were three songs where at the end she did that little ting. Yeah, but no cowbell. You can't explore the space. You really explore the space. <laughs> you gotta have that cowbell. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. Uh, three gracious. hours and three minutes. But we did have a little break in there. Mm -hmm. Well, do you have anything else you want to say? Other than we're old and tired? <laughs> Look at us. Look at us. We're just all wiped out from sitting and listening to music for three hours. <laughs> I know. What makes you tired? Running marathons? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Doing all sorts of work? Manual labor? <laughs> no. Sitting and listening to music I listen is to an album. Oh, <laughs> I had to take a nap afterwards. <clears throat> oh my goodness, we're such wusses. Well, okay. thank you for joining me. That was fun. It was fun. It was nice having you on again. Kitty, no, those are my tissues. Kitty. <laughs> you need tissues for that? Uh, a couple songs, yeah, man. There's, oh, some, there's yeah. some incredible songs. Incredible songs. Well, my favorite. Well, still. you know, I'm going to regardless. Yeah, it doesn't matter. You shouldn't be surprised with which, me. Which one was the one I really, really, really enjoyed? Mm. It wasn't. Daughter was great, but it wasn't Daughter. It, it was Alligator Smoke. It. Just, I don't remember. I don't remember now. You have lots of hearts. It was, it was around here somewhere. It may have been Daughter. Or may. No. Because wasn't Spaghetti kind of like a silly one? Uh, No, actually. I don't think it. I don't think that it was. I was expecting it to be it was like a, a spaghetti western, it was but a it wasn't. One. It wasn't talking about a spaghetti western. Yeah. It was uh, talking about plain spaghetti with no sauce. There was a song that I loved that was just kind of short, but anyway, whatever. We'll find it. Yep. Okay. Well. That's I it. I really enjoyed that. I thank you for waiting. Yeah, I'm glad we did. I'm glad. Yeah. yeah. That was nice. Too. Yeah. That was fun to sit down and listen to together. So sorry this is coming out late. But hopefully by now, when I'm sitting here going, I don't know what they're talking about, you guys will have figured that out by now. Yeah. And then you can correct all of my wrongs. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and all this stuff where I'm like, I don't know what's going on. All right, I'm going to shut it down. Okay. All right, take care, y'all. We'll see you soon.